Skunk Lifestyle. So I go on. Oh, so before this video actually starts, yo, remember my GD par, Panda par, May 14th. Six Cargill Avenue. Don't forget, don't miss. Make sure you roll out. You pop up the fly right on the screen here, sir. When you roll out, come on, the vibes with it. It's powered by Amzoil, 24 karat beer, and Monster is coming on on board with us as well. So you don't know the vibes, just want to roll out. Come on, the vibes with it. Sit with us for the Panda Park. Lifestyle, what's going on? So, yo, listen, you know it's always like this. When we, whenever we get the full scoop and stuff, and the new machines hit Jamaica, we we'll have to get them most of the times first. But today, we have a very special feature. I think currently it's the only one in the island, and it actually just landed today. So, I'll link up with the boss himself. I'm gonna show you his who next, but trust me, this machine is bad. Is it me if you're not sure about the 2021 RS7 is all about? We're talking about 600 horsepower with about maybe about 700 foot pounds of torque, and I think it's a twin turbo V8. But let me not tell you much about it so you don't know. Big up for tuning in today again. You don't know. I have to give you the full scoop on what's happening on the Skunk Lifestyle. So, yo, let me just turn to the driver now. Who's this? <laughs> well, Nick, bless up. First of all, respect for giving me the full scoop on the car absolutely just land literally you just know, came. you know you the man <laughs> <laughs> so you know why you opted to go with a machine like this so I'm gonna tell you the truth um, I was selling my s5 yeah and after somebody came and said they wanted the car right sat in my bed watching TV one night and chances what are you gonna do what, what, what car are you gonna get yeah so I, said, I don't know so she said well buy a dream car she said, babe, you've been working for 30 odd years. You're working hard. Every day I see you go out and you, you really got a really good job out there. And it's time to go and buy Enjoy. something really nice for yourself. Yeah. So I started to think, and then of course, I called my brethren, Adam Stewart. And of course, what he thought he was going to tell me. Of course, go with a Porsche. Yeah. And I said, no, no, no. Can't go with Porsche. Everybody have Porsche now. Porsche come come and place around here. Yeah. So he laughs at me, he says, well, you know, you're the Audi man, you're the Audi man for the last 10 years. Yep. Why don't you get an Audi? So at that point, I said, you know something, he's right in. So I said, why not get the baddest, nastiest piece of Audi there was out there? And yeah. I said, you know something, I started to look up. And everywhere I looked, everybody just kept saying to me, RS7, RS7, RS7. And I said, you know something, let me go and look. Came down to ATL, sat with Adam. I said, I want this car. Right. Adam comes to me and says, boy, dog can't get this car for you. I said, why? I said, man, this is like a one-off. This is like the only thing that would be in the Caribbean, period. So I said, well, what do I do now? So Adam says, well, why don't go to England? I said, I have some contacts up there. I'll make you get some contacts. And I started to browse and started to look around. Called this dealership that I was talking to, right. that Adam had, had kind of put me on to place, place me on it. After talking with the guy, he says, you know something? I have this demo car. That's been sitting around a lot. I tell you what, dog. Uh, honest to you, I'm going to, I'm going to be honest. The car is not the everyday RS7. So I said, why? What's wrong with it? He says, well, everything we spec for this car was just performance in mind. I said, well, all right. Tell, like you. tell me something that I don't like. Yeah. He says, but it don't have sunroof. I said, when don't have sunroof. I said, well, it has carbon fiber interior. I said, great. Yeah. He said, but you don't have no heated seats or heated mirrors. I said, I know one and I don't know in Jamaica. He says, but it has carbon ceramic brakes. I said, great. <laughs> so I said, you're still not telling me anything that I'm, that I'm going to not like about this car. Yeah. He says, all right, tell you what, I'm going to send a video. I sent the video. It had the Nardo gray and I was like, wow, this car is beautiful. And then now I started to just Google this car. You're doing research and man every time I was doing research all the YouTube bloggers everybody that had talked about this car everybody was just big smiles and I said you know something this is the car that I want yeah and boy I tell you it landed today and I couldn't even sleep last night you deserve it man yeah you I, deserve I it trust sleep. me trust me you have been doing such great things for Audi and that brand and the Audi brand Thank trust you. me it's a man like you can have a machine like this <laughs> 
you know? Yeah, man, it's, it's absolutely awesome. It's a nice daily. It's a high performance saloon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, everybody was saying, oh boy, it's going to be a hell of a sleeper. Yeah. Until you actually see this in real life. Well, I'll tell you something, this is a head turner. There's Let's no doubt like water around of it, no? Yeah, man, absolutely. Yeah, lifestyle. The big bad machine, you know. The only one in the island. We got it here first on Skunk Lifestyle. You know how it go already. And Doug, Doug never leaves me out of the loop. And that's what I always respect about Doug. He never leaves me out of the loop. So this is a twin turbo. V8. Yeah. It uh, normally comes with 600 horsepower, but uh, they sent it off to Audi Sport. Yeah. The car was in England already. As you know, Audi Sport was the guys that actually sold Adam and I the, the Audi DTM car. Okay. So we called them back and we said, hey, what do you have for this car? So I got a little battery cut right there. Let's go again. Yeah, so after the car was up there in England and we did what we needed to do and we secured the car and uh, talked to Audi Sport, as I said, they were the same guys that did the DTM car for Adam and I and we wanted to, to do the upgrades. They told us about an ECU replacement. Yeah. It wasn't just one of those things where the guy goes on the computer and hits the enter button. What the ECU does is actually picks up how I drive right. and also we learn whatever type of fuel that is inside of the car. Nice. And I have to big up fuel depot and Richard Lee from Miracle. They gave me a whole. Pram, pram. Yeah, man, they were full up the car today. Yeah. And I can tell you that 93 octane, wow, wow, wow. And uh, you know, this car, just getting in the car, I, I'm saying to myself, wow, it's, it feels, it looks big. Yeah. But I tell you something, it doesn't feel big. What, what wife do you have to say about it? She is uh, very, very happy. Yeah. I tell you something, long, long years ago, she said to me that her favorite car was the A7. Right. So when I actually talked to her and tell her so I'm getting the RS, bad boy so Yeah. Of course it was all smiles at home. <laughs> yeah man. So about how much power we're looking at now? Because you did some so upgrades to it. So after the ECU they actually took it on their dyno and uh, I got back the feedback. It has 700 horsepower. And that again? Yeah. <laughs> but, but we don't get to the good part yet. Yeah, oh, right. oh. <laughs> yeah. And 880 newton meters of torque. Bro. Yeah, that's wicked. That's wicked. That, you, you took me for a pull earlier. Four <laughs> of us were in the car and everybody was giggling. Giggling. Right? Anytime, so. anytime four adults can be in a car and on the launch, everybody starts to giggle. Right. You know, so the car is a serious car. Yeah, man. <laughs> Trust me, I, I really appreciate this. And, yes, man, absolutely. You know, this is a beast of a machine. Um, you thinking about maybe taking it around Dover to see what time you could get out of it? True, that would be fun. I yeah. mean, I tell you something, I was driving with you today and just a little pull that we did. Yeah. And I slammed on the brakes because I saw that the corner was right there. And when I slammed on the brakes and I looked and I said the corner is still down there. Yeah. And I'm saying, what the hell? Then I'm gonna come on the that, that was amazing. Yeah. I said, boy, that felt like the race car. Yeah. But even better. <laughs> on the road. Yeah, yes, but we we'll drive road. safe on the road. That is true. We we'll drive safe on the road. Absolutely. Yeah, so, I mean, it's pretty much tuned to how you like it. Right now, it's just a daily driver to have some fun. So far. You know, so far. Yeah, yeah, I mean, even the exhaust system, I could have gotten the exhaust put on on the car. And, and then I say, you know something, let me keep the car the way it is. When I do turn it on RS mode, yeah. everything changes. Nice. If you're even driving the S5, I can drive it in drive and you're driving around and I could have my grandmother in the car and she wouldn't even know. Yeah. And just like this, I mean, you, you're driving around, everything is quiet and you go like this and you have RS1, RS2. When you put it in RS2, all of a sudden you hear the growls and the Yeah, I'm going to take a walk around and give my review on it and stuff. It's a beautiful machine. I mean, it's 2021. It's the only one in the island. And trust me, lifestyle, this is what it's all about, you know. Living the, the automotive dream is like need for speed in real life. I'm sure I'll give you guys a look on the interior right now. Let me turn up the exposure a bit. So inside is so sleek and nice, you know what I mean? You know, it comes with bucket seats right here. You know, everything is like ambient lighting along the side. And of course, it has a red ambient light pretty much, but the, the Audi emblem. So, it's a very nice car and what i like about these saloons they have a lot of space i mean you could literally comfortably run around with four people comfortably inside the car enjoy yourself spirited runs on highway back to mobile in no time <laughs> so this this wing this spoiler is supposed to i guess adjust okay so after 60 miles on our 
this spoiler actually goes up to add aerodynamics so question on Doug you know we're all about the fun and the games <laughs> you, you think would I give Ziggy a run with this one now? Lord you think he want to? well challenge yes just for fun just for fun that that is it boy Ziggy he's not going to go and look pretty me not telling him oh. <laughs> I say this is this going to well nasty yeah I say because yeah, man, you, you, you're going to sit there and, and while you see the, the green car right over there so I, I hear him come and make a whole for noise when he was coming in a while ago maybe that we put the car. three of them side by side you know? <laughs> so yo Doug is calling out the poison you know but we're not ready yet we're not ready yet not ready yet so, give me a little oh, time give me a little time why does everybody though? always say that uh, but we're not ready, ready yet <laughs> yeah we're so ah, you ready know what? you know what yeah? what do I have to lose I'll run you. Ay, I'll run you. I'll run you. I'll run you. I'll run you. <laughs> lifestyle, lifestyle. I don't have anything to lose <laughs> against this big monster right here. So we're gonna have a vibe. It don't really matter if you beat me or not. Serious thing. Yeah. Awesome, so awesome. We're gonna make that happen. Pretty though. Thank you. The only bad thing is that I be on double, but so you go. I mean, I, I <laughs> take that from you. Know? <laughs> yeah. It's still one of still, still one keeping of the, the family. The keeping the automotive brands, thing, right? Thing. <laughs> so, you know, you can't leave me without a couple of pulls in the car tonight. Sure, not, sure, Nothing too sure. crazy with us wanting to go on the road. But all right. Yeah, but I might just shoot some cinematics, all courtesy ah, of there me. There it is, there it is. You know how it's already. Right. So, I'm going to allow you to do your thing. We're going to drop some cinematics, then we'll go for some pulls. All right. Yeah, dog. So, let's okay. get to it. So yo, lifestyle, can you believe I was just about to start editing Doug's video and when we check the GoPro footage, no audio. So yo, lifestyle, I can't do this, you know, I don't like to promise my subscribers footage and I don't give it to you. So yo, I'm literally going to leave from Kingston now and shotgun my bay just to get an next pull in on the Audi. Just for my subscribers, this is your man, so I'm going to go my bay now. Like, look at how sweet this pull is and there's no audio. Anyways, peeps, that's the life of vlogging. I'm heading to Mobile now. Yeah, so you know, so I have to big up all of the foreign of them, and I know so I miss scenes and situations like this. Right now, we're out of Priory. I'm just forward to get some rosium and salt sea provision, so you don't know the vibe. So drop dropping a little bit, of the, little bit of the vibes, you know, the local vibes. I don't know. And I just carry thing alone. To the, to the fire, to the fire man right Yeah man, Rasta fire, let me yam yam the you know. Up, up, up. Ah, hello. See that right next up on the fire side. Yeah. 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 Respect. I want your motor. See ya. Salt, mackerel, proper thing. All right, catch one again, salt fish. Okay. See one in our kitchen around there. Big up Simon, big up Simon, man. Yeah man, fire. Right out, yes, right out of, out of um, prairie. Right along Richmond Strip, so you don't know the right vibe already. Right, right at Shaz gas station, yeah, so as you can see, so yeah, you don't know the vibe. Up with the button thing. Yeah, cool, man. I am mean. My vibes, man. Rasta settings, you know. So yo, I just reached Mobile, you know, like literally today's Sunday. Today's the day that I was going to start editing. Realized that the audio footage wasn't working on the GoPro. I'm gonna say, yo, I'm not letting it down. So you don't know the vibe. We're actually here now. I'm in Mobe. I'm gonna be doing the in cam footage and stuff now with Doug all over again. Hope you guys will share it up and us get this one viral, please. You thought I was serious when I said I was coming out, right? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I had to wait a little and then I said, well, you know something, I think you better walk out. <laughs> <laughs> right, he just so wanted a second drive in the car. 
Well, I, the, the, remember the first time you told me it wasn't with the launch controller? No, 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 no. And I couldn't believe it myself. I mean, when we decided that, we actually found out yesterday, and Tommy said, Daddy, you know, said the launch control activation thing came up on the screen. And I was like, boy, that is what licked me in my chest. Yeah. <laughs> so said, All right, let's go God. for a pull now then, yeah. official. So, lifestyle. This is the look of the interior right now. I'm giving you the first official pull in the 2021 Audi RS7. Jeez, the Hollywood edition. Oh <laughs> so, I mean, lifestyle. I told you guys that I literally left from Kingston. I said, yo, listen, it's the worst thing that when you record something and the footage doesn't come out, come oh, out how you yeah. expect. Yeah, and like, I'm like, this morning I wake up early and I do <laughs> I said, I did no audio. I said, no man, I'm a subscriber, but I'm not going to see a video with just talking. And then you come in now and you're like, why should I, should I not? Exactly, but then. I said, boy, Hollywood on, on the way. So I said, Hollywood right, worth the drive, man. <laughs> you know, especially a machine like this. So I mean, this is maybe like the third day that you have the car now. Yeah, and so then, you know, when we got it off of the wharf and talking to the guys and we say all right i'm going to drive it down of course we never have no plates or anything so you know they stopped us on the road and what's going to happen there yeah <laughs> but yeah everybody loves hollywood right yeah <laughs> so you're loving this one especially now though yeah so you know what happened is that when we sent when we got the car in england and we were talking to the guys and i saw it talk to app yeah which is the same people that did the race car right and i said i would like to you guys to upgrade the computer and uh, turn off the top speed limit and just a few things and they said all right sure and I said well can I just send the e can you just send me the ECU and I'll just do it here because it's the same thing that they did with the S5 right and they said no dog we can't because with the RS7 we have to actually put it on the dyno so I said oh so as I mean it's a whole different thing so yeah man it's a whole calibration of stuff and even to take off the ECU why we don't fool around with the or the ECU right as a matter of fact when I finish I'll open up the bonnet and actually show you that app has their own ECU plugged into the ECU of the car. Nice. So it is an ECU where if I went and got some shit gas coming back from town and I couldn't find nothing good, then the car would actually detune itself right, and I wouldn't have to worry. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. have to worry. Where are the guys now with the stage two and stage three and then come and enter and then you know have to make sure you have good gas in the car all the time and you know you have that little worry going on. Yeah. And of course I've I've blown up a few engines because of that whole laptop scenario. Right. And I didn't want to get into that anymore. So yeah, I thought that this was going to be the best world. So I said, all right. I called a dealer in England and I said, would you send the car? And they said yes, they would send the car, no cost to me. And I said, all right, and I sent it to up. Okay. Sent it over there to them. They did what they had to do. And then they sent it back to the shippers and uh, we got the apt upgrade. Wow. So this is one of the, what they call the app type R upgrades. Nice. So this car is running some serious power and serious torque. We have 700 horsepower and 880 newton meters of torque. It's not like Matt Watson and Carwell. <laughs> you know, we can watch that guy on YouTube. Yeah, we could. I'm like that, well, newton meters of torque. Right. Yeah. So of course, the when I first got the car and, and I'm driving off and, and I'm just saying, boy, the, the push in the back of the seat is like, wow. Yeah. And then I said, all right, boy, it's a big car. I mean, you look at the car and I'm saying, boy, this is a big car to deal with. And how nimble is it going to be? Well, I'm going to kind of show you yeah. how nimble it is. Crazy. It's very comfortable to lifestyle, like really comfy. Yeah, and, and super quiet, yep. which is one of the, the great things is that, I mean, if you can listen to it, I'm going to turn on the RS mode. Okay. All of a sudden now we're talking about close course tracks. They're, they've now changed the whole look of the car. Right. You turn on now RS2. The car will actually lower itself. Stability control will actually come so off. So that's what's happening now. And that's what's car. happening now. So of course now the car has now gotten a little nastier. Yeah. And just by changing the button. And you, you can now feel that, yeah, the car has now changed from the mom and pop grocery store yeah. to all out nastiness. So that, so that's me. <laughs> oh my gosh. You think he's listening? No, he is. <laughs> he is. <laughs> I yeah, see he posted yeah, on, your, Ziggy, on your chat. Yeah, yeah Ziggy, Ziggy is listening right now. And he posted on says, food yeah. and, and casket and all that. <laughs> Guess what, Ziggy? <laughs> yeah. 
Properly in and now, that would be a nice little launch for you. Yeah. But going down this, these trips here now, and we have some lovely switchback corners, and right. the, yeah, the car going to feel really smooth. You know what's funny? It's actually worked out for the best because on the other night we didn't really have much road. So true, it's a true, true, true. Exercise. Yeah, yeah, that is all right. I mean, we're doing we're doing spirited runs. It's not anything crazy. No, exactly. It's just demonstration. Yeah, runs. no, no foolishness. Uh, demonstration purposes only Yes, I do actually. <laughs> well, she probably like she's that. used to it. <laughs> yeah. She's actually one of the girls that I'll be driving by in the traffic and she'll actually look over me and says, You're going to stay behind this car all the time. Yeah. I mean, are, are we going to be driving like this yeah. the whole entire time? I mean, this is ridiculous. Jeez, Yo, lifestyle. Honestly, for a big sedan like what it is. It's very nimble. That's all I can one. tell you. That's pretty incredible. That so Doug car. actually had called out the BMW on the vlog. I won't take that um, bait right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I you won't take that. No, 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 I'm not going to take that bait right now. <laughs> I will just leave that for another time. But maybe if, if, if Ziggy really want to take on the yeah, bait, if, if you want to take it down. So let me ask you then, up, up front and personal, what do you think will happen? Honestly, I, I him, a deep he, no, he, he's definitely going to have to drive the hell out of that car to can launch with this car right now because this car just goes and the transmission don't drop RPM at all. Yeah. There's no, there's no dip in RPM. You I mind said if we this. Go by the office quickly. No, sure, sure, sure. sure. I said this on the vlog. I said this in the last recording that we did. Um, it's one of my top three favorite European cars that I've ever driven in and I think it's the fastest I've ever been around in a car now That's very important. A lot of these guys are modifying up their little Honda Civic or them and the Mark X that's another one that is like renowned. Yeah. These guys go and put on these tunes on the Mark X. Blah, 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 making all the noise and everything and then they go out there you now and they have these crashes. Right. They don't upgrade the suspension, don't upgrade the brakes. I say it all the, the car time. has gotten so much faster. And then all of a sudden now you've gone to the point where you're saying to yourself, you're coming around a corner. And you're saying, whoa, I messed up here. Yeah. The car is now getting out of control. 
next thing you know you're flying into another car or you're flying into some trees so that's one of the main things that you have to look at you have to make the car a rounded car so we just pull up to the office to grab some stuff but you know i didn't get to give you a walk around on the car in the day so this is what it's like and i'm telling you oh, these brakes them breaker them breaker has stopped car is just crazy it's a big body saloon you know lifestyle but i've been in a lot of cars this car bad like really sick i didn't expect it to like take the corners like that a while ago actually dog wanted me to look inside the office trophy heavy watcher trophy all that so these are all your trophies yeah i mean sabrina counted it one day and it was over 600 and they stopped because we actually have some boxes around the back well, what's it, how, how long is your career now I started late, you know, I started when I was about 27 years old and to me that's late. I mean, when you think that Tommy karting now, he has almost 100 mm -hmm. and he's only 17. So I can just imagine where he will end up. How much do you have now? Here? Over 600. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you. And this is where the domino beat too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right there. The domino this area where, right this here. get all upset and yeah. uh, boy. Domi so um, Doug is a big domino player still. <laughs> so if anybody wants a contest, then they can <laughs> line it up. Yeah, so these are all his trophies, man. You don't know. The infamous Audi TT. Yeah. Everybody always says, boy, what is your favorite? And I said, boy, the truth is that every time I look, I come back to every time I look I come back to trophies that I've seen and I'm like boy I remember that one and boy I remember when I took on this guy and you know winning some of the big guns in racing and uh, when I was growing up you know I always looked at the Christopher Issas of the world and the, mm -hmm. the Peter Moody's and of course Jeffrey was a guy to beat in rallying and and then of course David Somerville and it was always to go out there now and to try and beat one of them and uh, you know that's one of the things that I can look back at these trophies and say, boy, I remember when I beat such and such with, with <laughs> <That's it>. blessings. <laughs> yeah, man. So we just got some pools in the car. Hopefully, I can get a lunch and then, in terms of exterior lunch, and then we're good to go. Yes, love this stuff. My respect again. Hey, yeah, lifestyle. So right now, get some pools, get some lunches and stuff with this sick RS7. I mean. My review is, I've never been around a corner that quick and this car is crazy on the handling. I'm not just making this up, like it's in my top three favorite European cars that I've driven in. I love the Porsche, I love this RS7 and I would say the Lambo, you see me? So yeah, mad. Yeah, no, I just want to freestyle it outside, I just want to, I want, I want to see you do a launch. A big body care. Okay, run. No, I go up top. Everything up. Everything up, yeah, my G. Man, don't see, don't see Bless up, bro. this thing right you know have to yeah which have is very to. important have to have to, have to keep to. the fans happy and everybody happy you know? yep so which is all about and everybody's been talking about the car so i really you know as you said a while ago that you you wanted to make sure that you got the first one and and i made sure that you did yeah uh, because i think that you're the best in the business to thank, be you. With you. thank you thank so, you and, and everybody can see that there's no doubt about it <laughs> Respect again to Hollywood. He's done no lifestyle. We did it today. We headed to Mumbai to get you some footage because 
this car is special like really special and i told you top three favorite european vehicles that are driven in so yeah closing on this vlog big up to yourself we out Real.